Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportbikeTrackU.com, and today we're going to break down the all-new Alpine Star CRX Dry Star short riding shoe. The all-new CRX Dry Star short riding shoe retails for $199 as of the time we're shooting this video. Please understand we don't update the videos for pricing changes, only if the product itself is completely redesigned. This is super trick. When I took it out of the box and I looked at it, I gotta tell you, I really, really like the styling a lot. The different fabrics and materials they brought together on this, right? The sole high traction sole and that really looks like a running shoe. You can see I wore these quite a bit around the shop. I'm actually keeping this pair. Okay, this is a cool shoe. Before I go too much farther, let's talk about sizing. I wear a size 12 US in almost every shoe out there. I would say my feet lean a little bit to the wide side. These are a 12. The fit and feel was exactly what I'd hoped they would be. They weren't overly wide, they weren't overly narrow. I would say somewhere around the average, maybe leaning slightly to the wide side, right? Which really lends itself to the fit that I like. Dry star membrane, that's waterproof and breathable. I had them on in here for at least a couple hours, right? Super comfortable to walk on and around in, which is really what they were shooting for with this. These were built off of kind of a running shoe last, right? So, you know, the drop and just the mechanics of the foot of a running shoe can be different than what we see with a lot of the short riding shoes. So Alpine Stars was aiming at something that you could ride in that would offer a reasonable measure of protection, but would have that kind of comfort that when you got to any destination or even just everyday use, you'd have a pair of shoes that was going to be very comfortable. And I really feel like they hit the mark with these. Once again, all the different fabrics, right? Just really gives this a bitch and look. There's several colors available. The sole has plenty of grip, okay? You can see the detail here on the outer portion of the shoe. That's gonna to help to manage some abrasion. And there is some reinforcement here. You can feel that in the toe box, some reinforcement here in the heel. You know, when I look at riding shoes too, a short riding shoe like this never replaces the protection you're gonna get from a full boot. I just want you to understand that, you know, what they do with this is they try to blend in a measure of abrasion resistance, impact protection, right? And, you know, try to use a sole that's going to help to prevent having your heel from, or your foot from being crushed. You can see here, I can't just fold that over. Like with a regular tennis shoe, like the DC's having right now, if I took those off and if I went like this and pushed as hard as I could, they're just going to fold right here in the center. Something you have to have with a riding shoe like this, let's say you do have a get off and that bike lands on your foot. You don't want that just crushing that sole and then it's going to break your foot and that's just absolutely going to suck. So that's what you see with a short riding shoe. They blend in as much safety as they can, but then they work very hard to build in that comfort. Walking around in here, I shot a bunch of videos actually wearing these shoes, and they felt great. So good, like I said, I'm just gonna keep them. Other features and benefits. The shifter pad, right? This is like a TPU material here. This feels robust and abrasion resistant, like so the gear shifter, is not going to beat the hell out of it, right? And that's black in color, so it really should hold up. The lacing system is a quick lace style. Kind of give you an idea of how that works right now. You know, basically you start from the bottom, work your way up to the top, get everything tidied up nicely. Cinch that, locks in place. Some Velcro right here. Put that there. And what I did with the shoes when I had them on is I'd kind of gather the laces, tuck them inside the boot a little bit. And when you were all done, if you just spent just a second, you were able to kind of get it so that the laces were really almost invisible, right? It looked pretty much like that at the end, still maintained a very high level of comfort. They come up high enough that you're going to be covering the ankle. You can see the little puck on the outside here for a little impact and abrasion resistance, right? There's a puck stitched in on the inside of the shoe here, on the internal portion, to do the same exact thing. The footbed that's inside the shoes, we can pull those out real quick and give you a look. Not overly thick, right? But definitely, you know, super comfortable. That's really what I wanna focus on here. Super comfortable, a lot of style. I could see somebody wearing these around, even when they're not riding. 
Sizing is true to size. I wear a size 12 US. These were a 12. They fit exactly as I would anticipate. They've got half sizes and so on and so forth throughout the range. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself. and I'm here to make sure you have a great experience your next pair of riding shoes.